Okay, hi. I opened uh, my copy of Sweet 2017. And I drew uh, this acute corner type wall. And you can see you, you get it. I get what you get. Now the third wall thing would, would go like you just re reduce these down a little bit. We'll go back to the wall tool and draw a third wall. I'm not saying that this is ideal, but this is also a, an additional way to work it. Now I'm going to take this and use my arrow keys and minimize that. So that squares the corner off. And you can adjust it in the walls to your dimensions and so forth. And that, that's a way to do it. Uh, the other method I, I spoke of, let me move this out of the way. Go back to it more acute type corner. Let me get rid of those segments. Okay. <clears throat> and I, it's the first thing that I thought of, and, and now that I see it, adding a third wall is the best, best overall solution. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do, it's just a, another way to approach this if, a, if the uh, third wall thing doesn't work for you. I'm going to put a wall break as close to the corner as I can get. Well, it's not breaking. Oh, there we go. I finally got it. Now, this segment here I'm going to make invisible. It's still defining the space, but I'm going to just make it uh, invisible. And now I'm going to, yeah, this, now that I'm doing this, I can see, well, it's not all that great a solution. We'll take this segment here and make it invisible. Okay. Now I'm going to draw, let's see, this is sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have picked sweet. <laughs> anyway, we'll go to CAD and draw a line. Okay. I'm just going to draw a square corner and we'll close the polyline. A polyline is just, you know, several lines into a single object. Okay, now that's a single object. <coughs> Now I'm going to, uh oh, Sweet can't convert uh, thanks to custom slab. Well, maybe I, maybe I can use the slab tool. I have to delete this. I can't do it the way I had thought. Let me see if there's a slab tool. <coughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't plan this out before I started making the video, so give me a break. Uh, let's see, is there a slab tool in Sweet? I don't use Sweet all the time. Uh, so forgive me if you can. Let's see if there a, draw po maybe the draw polyline might work. I just need a shape out here and then. Oh, okay. Boy, sweet doesn't have very very much in it. Okay. Let me close this. It's not going to work in sweet. Let me open uh, architectural. Maybe I can get it done in architectural. Sorry about that. I want to make the video a little bit longer. But the third wall thing works in any uh, version or title. But I, I didn't realize when I shot my mouth off that uh, Sweet didn't have a custom slab tool. Sorry about that. I'm just going to draw a box to contain what I'm going to be working on. And I'll go to the interior wall tool and... Okay. So anyway, I was going to make the corner invisible. Just break, up, break off and isolate the corner. There we go. Make these two walls that are creating the sharp corner, make them invisible. Where's the dial? Oh, I guess I can't, I can't shift select and open them as I can in Pro or Chief. I have to make them invisible one at a time. Okay. I really, I, I suppose I should use these more often than I do, but most of my work I do in Chief Premiere. Now, We'll go to the CAD tools 
and we draw a polyline and can well there's no convert tool in, in architectural okay fiddlesticks got a build slab okay we got a slab fine <laughs> And we'll just create this into a square corner. And I think uh, interior four walls uh, four and a half, so we'll make the slab four and a half in plan view. Four point five inches. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and put it over here. And we'll take this and Stick it over here on the other wall. Now, of course, it's, it, see it's doing the same thing as a wall, but with a slab, you can control its shape a little more. I'll put a, a wall break, I mean a line break there, and square the corner off. Oops, I messed it up. I didn't say any of this is easy. I'm just saying this is a, a, a possible solution. Now, uh, we'll take this and open this dialog box. It's a slab, and it's got, so it has a dialog box. We'll make it uh, nine feet tall, and from the floor, floor to bottom, it'd be zero. <coughs> now, in order to make this kind of look like a wall, I'm going to open open up the object and go to the fill tab, and we'll make it a solid. And uh, next, I'm going to get the eyedropper. Well, okay. I don't want the object dropper. Maybe I'll do it in a camera view. I keep forgetting how not very able home designer titles are. <laughs> okay, we'll just get the drywall and no, I don't want I don't want to paint it drywall onto there. I want it to uh, just transfer this material. I need to get that icon off and this one on. There we go. I finally got it. And of course, the uh, base mold is missing, but it's a workaround. And I, I told you I would report it to Chief Architect uh, Tech Support as a bug or a feature request for future. Because this is the way it's always been since I started using the software back in 1995, and I, so I've just accepted it and moved on. And I would agree with you, it's non-optimum. <coughs> now let's see if we can get this fill in here. Let's see, I need the tricolor tool. I don't see the tricolor tool. It's under tools. Well, fiddle faddle. This is grayed out in plan view. Well, that's kind of not... I, I was going to change the fill color from this black to, uh, let me see if I can find something a little better. Get the tab key. There we go. I'm going to go over to the fill style and click on this. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the eyedropper. I'm going to get that color, add it to custom colors. And see, that makes it look a little, a little bit better. It's not perfect because the sheetrock layers are missing, but... I th that's another way to do it than, other than using a third wall, but uh, I prefer the third wall to square off the corner as opposed to this. I just, I can do both, so I thought I would show you both. Thank you.